Welcome to kindergarten. We can't wait to meet all of our new families and especially the students that will make up the class of 2036. My name is Gerson Paniagua and I'm the Family Engagement Coordinator in the Department of School and Community Relations. During our presentation, you'll hear from our school leaders, learn about how to prepare for kindergarten, how to identify and register for your neighborhood school, what option schools are available to all students and how to apply, and much more. But first, I believe the most valuable advice you can get as you prepare for kindergarten comes from our very own students. Let's hear from them now. I like um, solving problems on the iPad. Coloring, lots of things. Math with Mrs. Glick, I like to do Pennies, math games, math games, a building blocks, making new friends. When I first came here, I like reading with an iPad. Love reading books. We line up. In kindergarten, we don't take any naps. In kindergarten, we learn to open our milk cartons. We how to do crisscross applesauce. They're scared. You can tell it's okay. Don't worry. Your parents are going to pick you up just a little bit later than you got picked up at um, preschool. If you're nervous, just like me, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, they make lots of lots of sense. And I have lots of fun. This is not a place to be scared of. Greetings, I'm Reed Goldstein, Chair of the Arlington School Board. On behalf of Vice Chair Christina Diaz-Torres and members Mary Cadera, David Pretty, and our newest board member Bethany Zecker-Sutton, we would like to extend a warm welcome to our new and returning APS families. This is a special time as you begin to consider that your child is about to become a student with us. I remember the feeling myself. For me, it was over 20 years ago, but I remember that amazing mix of nervousness and pride as you prepare to send your child to school for the first time. Get used to that mix of feelings. There will be so many moments like this as your child takes on new challenges in school day after day and year after year. As your family starts your journey here at APS, we want to assure you that our goals are to provide multiple pathways to student success and to ensure student well-being. The main initiative this year is Every Student Counts, Excellence for All. The focus is knowing every student by name, strength, and need. Our APS vision is to be an inclusive community that empowers all students to foster their dreams, explore their possibilities, and create their futures. I encourage you to be active members of your child's school community. Get to know your child's teacher so you can work together as a team to ensure their success in the classroom. Look for volunteer opportunities and attend PTA meetings. Be open to meeting other parents. Some of them just might become lifelong friends. Also get to know the school's principal, assistant principal, and counseling staff. They are all available to you and focused on supporting your child. Lastly, I encourage you to become familiar with the school board. We represent the community's voice in making policy decisions for APS, and we are here to listen to your feedback as we work together to provide a high quality education for all students. You are able to connect with us in many different ways, during open office hours, by signing up to speak at school board meetings, or by sending an email to school.board at apsva.us. I am a huge believer in the power of education, and as chair of the school board, my job is to work hard every day to ensure that all of our students are supported, challenged, engaged, and able to find paths that result in successful outcomes for them. Your children's future is our community's future, and we can't wait to see how far they go. 
Welcome to Arlington Public Schools annual kindergarten information presentation. If you're a new APS family, we want to warmly welcome you. Our school administrators, our teachers, and our support staff cannot wait to meet you. And if you're a current APS family, we want to assure you that your students' transition to kindergarten will be a seamless and enjoyable experience. During this presentation, you'll learn about the following. How to prepare for kindergarten, how to register your child for their assigned neighborhood school, and our available option schools and programs that you might be interested in exploring, and so much more. As a school division, we believe that every student counts, and our goal is to know every student by name, strength, and need, while also using student data to help all students achieve their excellence. We're committed to providing all students with an academic and social-emotional curriculum that meets their needs. And I invite you to view a short video at the end of this presentation to learn more about how we support all of our students on their academic journey to excellence. At Arlington Public Schools, you and your child will have a whole team to help you feel welcomed, valued, and as a partner in your child's education. Some of the most important partners will be your elementary school principals. So let's take a moment to introduce each elementary school and its principal. Abingdon. Principal David Orak, Assistant Principal Anne Oliveira, Assistant Principal Michelle Mikhail. Alice Westfleet, Principal Jennifer Gildea, Assistant Principal Rebecca Ward. Arlington Science Focus, Principal Mary Begley, Assistant Principal Barbara Jones. Arlington Traditional, Principal Sam Podbelski, Assistant Principal Inga Schoenbrunn. Ashlon, Principal Francis Lee, Assistant Principal Megan Neary. Barcroft, Principal Judy Apostolico Buck, Assistant Principal Gabriela Rivas. Barrett, Principal Catherine Hahn, Assistant Principal Amin Littman. Campbell, Principal Maureen Nesselrode, Assistant Principal Karen Anselmo. Cardinal, Principal Colin Brown, Assistant Principal Gina Miller. Carlin Springs, Principal Dr. Melanie Mackin, Assistant Principal Marcelo Flores. Claremont, Principal, Dr. Jessica Panfill. Assistant Principal, Aaron Wales-Smith. Discovery, Principal, Dr. Aaron Russo. Assistant Principal, Dr. Judy Sieber. Dr. Charles R. Drew. Principal, Tracy Gaither. Assistant Principal, James Welch. Escuela Key, Principal, Marlene Perdomo. Assistant Principal, Erika Sanchez. Glebe, Principal, Jamie Borg. Assistant Principal, Ingrid Clark Marshall. Hoffman Boston, Principal, Heidi Smith. Assistant Principal, Suzanne Paul. Innovation, Principal, Claire Peters. Assistant Principal, Catherine White. Jamestown, Principal, Michelle McCarthy. Assistant Principal, Dr. Monica Roche. Long Branch. Principal, Jessica Da Silva. Assistant Principal, Carolyn Jackson. Montessori Public School. Principal, Katerina Genovi. Assistant Principal, Yolanda Nasheed. Nottingham. Principal, Dr. Eileen Gardner. Assistant Principal, Dr. Megan Lynch. Oak Ridge, Principal, Dr. Lynn Wright. Assistant Principal, Laurel Sarud. Randolph, Principal, Carlos Ramirez. Assistant Principal, Jennifer Danino. Taylor, Principal, Katie Madigan. Assistant Principal, Caitlin Sherman. Tuckahoe, Principal, Dustin Barnes. Assistant Principal, Michelle Marr. From our transportation team to our school administrators, we're here for you. 
We can't wait to meet you and watch you grow and learn. I'd like you to meet some of the individuals that will be here for you on day one. Here's a short video of the excitement and energy from the first day of school at a few of our elementary schools. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm working long time transportation. I'm very happy. This one, my kids, they know, long time I use. In case of COVID, no touch, just. <laughs> it's my pleasure, we miss them for the last two months, and then we are just very excited to meet our students, to transport them to and from school safely and effective manner. Good morning, good morning. It's overwhelming. It's our last child going to his first day of kindergarten, and it's, um, it's a wonderful feeling, but at the same time, we know that the Arlington education system is so amazing, and that he's in great hands. Very exciting to see all of the students arriving with smiles on their faces, their parents being able to come into the building and see where their students are, so it's a great start. I'm so excited for the first day of school. We're excited for new friends, new teachers, and lots of school activities this year. <laughs> Are you in kindergarten? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Kindergarten. I know where you're going. Do you want to hold my hand and I'll take you? Yes. Awesome. All right, gonna take her to kindergarten. Oh, it's going great. It's nothing better than starting a new year. At Alice West Fleet, we believe that we need to create a safe and welcoming classroom environment and a school community where kids belong and families belong. So we're really excited to welcome kids back to start a new year. What feels good is that we're coming back together as a community. We're not isolated. We don't have some people that can come in the building, some that cannot. And just the joy and the excitement in the air, it's a wonderful beginning. It's all about the kids, get the building ready. Happy to see them back too. So I love to see them back. Happy first day of school. Ooh, I'm excited to meet my teacher. I'm excited to start this new year. We're growing as a community within the PTA and within the school, and I'm just excited to see how our traditions from last year continue into this year. One of our students is deaf, so when he goes through the line, we like to make sure that he knows everything that's on the menu. So we make sure to sign each item, make sure he knows the word for each item before he buys it, explaining to him what is the process of buying food. So here is our opportunity to show them how you do different things that are functional in the real world. Being the new kid is, is a nice way to relate to kids. We have a lot of new kids um, and a lot of people who have been here for a long time, and I think the same thing goes with adults, you know? So day one with staff, uh, you know, I want to model that it's okay to say you don't know how to do something because I'm going to be asking that a lot. But I think one of the strengths of this community is we have a foundational knowledge here as an institution of people who have been here. We have teachers who have been ATS students before, ATS parents. So this institutional knowledge that we have of what makes ATS excellent uh, has definitely been something I've been leaning on to really make sure that we continue a strong tradition that, that Holly Hawthorne created here. So it's been, it's been a challenge, but definitely something where I feel lucky to have such a supportive community. I feel like I won the lottery and I am humbled and just honored to be able to be the principal of Ashland Elementary. This school has the most amazing community. Everybody has been welcoming. Parents have come in, they've asked how, we, how can I help. Uh, the students have come in with smiles on their faces. Our staff is wonderful, they are supportive, everyone is asking how they can give a hand. And truly this community comes together. Everybody loves being here and it's what makes Ashland such a special place. So I just feel really fortunate that this is the school I have the opportunity to lead. It's been a great first day of school. We've welcomed all of our Taylor Tigers back into the building. We're excited to be here, to have our students back in. There's a lot of fun, people happy to see each other. And we're really focusing this year on being kind, determined, and safe as we enter our buildings. It's just gonna be an awesome year. Welcome to the 
J'espère qu'on va avoir une belle année de l'école. Rosa, va le marquer avec mon coach pour ça. Kalina n'est pas du tout quoi une hard de avoir lieu mes madrasa. Ma chouba scolaire pour tomber. Feliz día de la primer día de escuela para todos los estudiantes y para todos los padres. Sam Beno. Whether your child is just beginning kindergarten or starting a new grade as a returning student, there's a lot to be done to prepare for the year ahead including checking in about their fears, anxieties, and concerns. It's natural for children to experience nervousness. For some, it may be the first time in a structured group setting. Some children will accept the change with joy, while others may need a bit more hand-holding to acclimate. Rest assured, our teachers and school teams strive to foster a strong relationship with each student from the moment they enter the classroom community. A few ways that you can help prepare your child for elementary school are by visiting the school or classroom before the first day. Your school will inform you of any open houses or activities before the start of the school year. Reading books about starting school. In the next few slides, we'll offer recommendations. And talking to your children about their feelings about school, friends, teachers, and new activities. At APS, our kindergarten families can expect a safe, respectful, and inclusive environment a focus on literacy, mathematics, social studies, science, health, music, physical education, art, and library, a balance of whole group, small group, and individual instruction, two-way communication between the school, classroom, and home, and more. I encourage you to regularly read and have engaging conversations with your child to build their vocabulary in preparation for kindergarten. Reading aloud with your child just 15 minutes a day will help grow their vocabulary and promote healthy brain development. These are just a few of the books we recommend reading to your child to prepare them for kindergarten. You can find these titles and tips for families on our kindergarten webpage, apsva.us forward slash kindergarten. Mark your calendars. The first day of school will be on Monday, August 28, 2023. The full calendar for the 2023-24 school year is available online at apsva.us forward slash calendars. Eight of our elementary schools listed on the left-hand side start at 7.50 a.m. and end at 2.40 p.m. 17 of our elementary schools listed on the right-hand side start at 9 a.m. and end at 3.50 p.m. Each elementary school will host an in-person information session for families in February and March. We encourage families to attend and learn about their assigned neighborhood school and option schools of interest. View the full schedule at apsva.us forward slash kindergarten. Now, let's learn about the registration process. All addresses in Arlington County are assigned to an APS neighborhood elementary, middle, and high school. APS offers 20 high-quality neighborhood elementary schools. To identify your neighborhood elementary school, enter your home address in our Boundary Locator website, apsva.us forward slash boundary, and learn more about each of our schools at apsva.us forward slash school dash overviews. Every student is guaranteed a space in the neighborhood school designated by their home address. Registration is required. Option schools offer specialized educational instruction. APS provides families the opportunity to attend an option school as an alternative to enrolling in their assigned neighborhood school. To be considered for an option school, families must submit an online application. In a few moments, we'll learn more about option schools and the application process. All K-12 neighborhood schools and option schools are free for all students to attend and transportation is provided. Registration for the 2023-24 school year begins on February 1st. Families can register online at apsva.us forward slash register. 
For this option, full enrollment requires uploading documents and setting up a virtual or in-person meeting with an APS registrar. Families unable to register online can schedule an appointment by contacting their neighborhood school or contacting the APS Welcome Center at 703-228-8000 or registration at APSVA.us. Children who reach their fifth birthday on or before September 30th, 2023 may enter kindergarten. In order to register your child, you'll need to provide the following. Your child's original birth certificate or a proof of student identity and age affidavit, proof of Arlington residence, immunization records, a physical exam and tuberculosis screening completed within 12 months prior to starting school. For a full list of documents needed to complete registration, visit APSVA.us forward slash register. Once your student is enrolled, you will be able to connect with your school and teachers in many ways. ParentView is the online tool that our families use to get the latest information regarding their students. After enrollment, you will receive a ParentView activation key. We encourage you to activate your account immediately. A few weeks before the start of school, your account will be updated with your student's information. There are many benefits of using ParentView, including updating parent and emergency contact information, viewing your student's assigned bus stop, reporting upcoming absences, viewing student attendance and class schedules, communicating with teachers, and more. Now, let's learn about Option Elementary Schools and programs. Option schools offer specialized educational instruction. Our elementary option schools are Arlington Traditional School, Campbell Elementary School, Claremont Elementary School, and Escuela Key for our dual language English and Spanish immersion programs, and Montessori Public School of Arlington. ATS's success is grounded in a traditional approach to education focused on the ABCs of success academics, behavior, and character. ATS offers students, families, and the community a commitment to learning and character development in a safe, structured environment with traditions. ATS's goal is to engage, educate, and empower all students to succeed. Campbell Elementary School is a member of the EL Education National Organization. In EL schools, there is an emphasis on authentic learning, rigorous academics, and a supportive school structure. Campbell students engage in interdisciplinary units called learning expeditions. Content is integrated into meaningful, real-life experiences that foster character growth, high expectations, and equity. The dual language English and Spanish immersion schools have feeder neighborhood schools assigned to them. Your assigned neighborhood elementary school will determine the immersion school your child can apply to and attend if accepted. Learn more about the dual language immersion program through a video presentation available online on February 9th, 2023. The Montessori program provides an interdisciplinary discovery-based approach to learning following the tenets of Dr. Maria Montessori. The program is based on a philosophy of learning that grows from a belief that children are natural learners and that learning occurs best in a nurturing, prepared environment that promotes spontaneous, cooperative inquiry. Learn more about the Montessori program at APS through a video presentation available on February 7, 2023. Families can apply to option schools between Wednesday, February 1st at 4 p.m and Monday, April 17th at 4 p.m. This is not a first come, first serve process. Families are able to apply online at any time during the application period. If there are more applications than available slots for an option school or program, a lottery, a lottery will be held online on May 2nd at 1 p.m. to determine admission. Families will be notified on May 8th if their student has been accepted or waitlisted and will need to confirm or decline their space by May 19th. If a student gets into more than one option school, families must select one school by the deadline date. 
Once a family chooses a school or program, the student is then removed from all other options or wait lists. Here are a few tips to assist families with completing the online application. Families must apply online at apsva.schoolmint.net. Families with an existing Schoolmint account from a previous school year do not need to create a new account. Only new applicants must create an account in Schoolmint to complete an option school application. Families can select to receive their lottery notification via text, email, or both. Families will be able to check their waitlist status through the online application portal. Families without computer or internet access can visit their child's school or the APS Welcome Center to complete the online application. Students who applied but were not accepted will be placed in numerical order on a waitlist for the upcoming school year. Applications received after the deadline are placed at the bottom of the existing waitlist. If a student is offered a space in an option school that is not their top choice, they can decline the offer and remain on the waitlist for their top choice. Students will be assigned to the closest bus stop, but some stops may be hub stops that are longer distance from the student's residence. Hub stops are centralized locations such as a school, library, or community center where students from several neighborhoods meet to catch the bus to their school. Not all neighborhoods will have a hub stop. Rather, stops are placed to be accessed from multiple neighborhoods and directions. Families may request a different hub stop if it is more convenient and should contact this transportation services office to request this change. Now, let's learn about a few resources and supports. Each elementary school has its own extended day program. Extended day operates all day that schools are in session. The before school program begins at 7 a.m. and goes until the start of the school day. The after school program ends at 6 p.m. Families can view a video presentation on extended day at apsva.us forward slash kindergarten. The Special Education Parent Resource Center offers support and assistance for families of students with special needs, has a lending library, conducts training workshops, and serves as an information and referral source for families and staff members. Learn more at apsva.us forward slash PRC. Families are also able to contact the Special Education PTA for additional support and resources. Learn more at arlingtonsepta.org. For additional information or questions, please contact the APS Welcome Center at 703-228-8000, select option 3, or email registration at apsva.us or school options at apsva.us. We also encourage you to engage with APS. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, check out our incredible video productions on our YouTube page, and more. We're here to help you through this process. Please reach out to us if you have questions, need help accessing the online application, or anything else that may come up. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our elementary schools. We leave you with a video introduction to our division-wide focus for the current school year, Every Student Counts, Excellence for All. Our focus is to know every student by name, strength, and need, and to use data to help all students achieve excellence. Our focus this year for Every Student Counts really will mean our educators are looking at data and planning instruction to meet their individual needs and strengths. The heart of our instruction really is focused on strengthening the core instruction that all students receive. So that means high quality instruction for all students in a pre-K-12 setting. We are very excited because we are adopting some new resources to support all students. So tier one is 
core instruction, that's the instruction that everyone is receiving, all students are receiving. Tier two is generally students that need a little bit more of a push, that might need a little bit more uh, support to gain access to a given concept. Tier three is a bit more targeted, an even smaller group to provide remediation, to provide intervention for students who need it. We all start in tier one, which is called core instruction. That's everybody. And so the idea is that the classroom teacher develops lessons with all students in mind. That means all students have access to this rich grade level content. All students are building vocabulary and knowledge that are at their grade level. Within that tier one block, there's opportunities for whole group instruction, small group instruction, partner work, and independent work. And with these various structures, students have opportunities to receive both extensions, but additional supports from their classroom teacher or from a support teacher who might be pushing in. Part of that intervention involves progress monitoring to ensure that students are making progress and meeting grade level benchmarks. We use those assessments to really look very specifically where in the reading progression is it a phonemic awareness deficit that a student has? Are they having trouble decoding multisyllable words? And we'll intervene right there while they are still in grade level material. And then we'll also, where needed, build in interventions, enrichment, et cetera, and hit those other tiers of support that our kids need. Separate from our Tier 1 instruction, we additionally instruct all students where they are. So that may mean that they get additional instruction in phonics for decoding or fluency for reading, meeting writing goals, speech, language, all of those components. But every child is going to benefit from the knowledge building and the vocabulary of CKLA. The ELA office has adopted some programs that will benefit students who need Tier 3 instruction. These programs are research-based and they are systematic and explicit, meant to accelerate progress for these students. The goal is that these students will accelerate within the Tier 3 so that they can move to a less intense intervention back in Tier 2 or receive their primary instruction in Tier 1. A tier three group would typically involve a structured research-based resource that the teacher is implementing with fidelity, which allows for more intensity in time and instruction around the area of need for the student. However, if a student is not making the expected progress in tier three, our next step is to engage other professionals in the building in the student study process to see what we uh, need to know to best serve the student's needs. Well, one thing I really love about this is that I have a very differentiated class this year. Um, so I'm excited that this is going to address all of those needs, and not just for one subject, but for multiple subjects, and integrating content standards as well to help with their background knowledge and vocabulary. So it's almost like everything's being hit. Our educators have been busy before the start of school, engaging in training around our new resources for both math and English language arts. This year what we're doing is we're adopting a new resource, it's called Envision for Math. It is going to be a great resource added to the existing toolkit that teachers already have. And we're providing training today on how to use and access those resources because the idea is that students are able to start using them as soon as possible, as soon as we start the school year. And also we want to make sure that we get teachers informed and well-versed in all of these resources so that they can start implementing them with confidence starting day one. So this year for Yale is especially exciting. We have top-notch teachers on our task force that are taking this robust resource and turning it into a curriculum for all of our teams to be using effectively. And that will definitely reach all of our students. In fact, within our documents, we have supports for our L students, for special education students, for gifted and talented students, for our general education students, to make sure all aspects of our population can excel. As we continue to meet students by name, strength, and need, it's really important for us to acknowledge that students all are entering into the classroom with something that they are good at. So making sure that we build on their assets and help them to continue to grow in the classroom.